Kanye booed off stage at his own show. Drake fuels Taylor dating rumors again. And Kendall, was she too drunk on her 21st birthday? All that and more on today's rundown. Another photo has come up of Taylor and Drake hanging out. What does it mean? Pictures don't lie, y'all. But first, let's talk about Ariana Grande and her brand new song with Stevie Wonder. Ariana Grande is giving us some Friday faith today, you guys. She's featured on a brand new song with the legendary Stevie Wonder for an upcoming animated movie called Sing. <laughs> Instagram to pic of her and Stevie expressing her complete gratitude, saying, quote, hashtag faith. I have no words to express what an honor this is or how excited I am beyond thankful to be a part of this. So seeing its theaters on December 31st, I love that this song, she tweeted out that she couldn't even believe that she was saying the words, here's my song with Stevie Wonder. And this song is so good. So Good. I have been jamming it all morning long. I heard you. In my office, we were like singing it and doing little crazy. I saw as it's I walked so by. Good. I love it. And what I love is that Stevie Wonder. He's an icon. He's legendary. He kind of had his peak, though. I feel like 20 years ago, 30 mm -hmm. years ago. But now he's back in a. His, this song is going to be a number one pop hit. Totally. It's so great. Mm -hmm. And I love that old school's coming back to new school again. You know. All right, guys, but Ariana Grande is not the only person with a new song today. Little Mix dropped a brand new song, another X-themed anthem song, I guess you call it, mm -hmm. called F.U. So I guess Justin Bieber fans, I mean, they're the ultimate fans. After everything that Justin's done, they are ride or die because they're willing to wait five months in advance to get in line for his concert. Loyal fans in Brazil have started camping out for Justin's concert what? five months early, Erin. Can you believe it? So Brazil Global Paper reported at least a dozen believers have lined up outside Rio Sambadrome for the March 29, 2017 show, bringing with them tents, blankets, snacks, and insect repellent. According to the paper, the Rio group is actually going to be part of a 130-person effort where they all plan on taking turns waiting in line while others go to school and work. The area near the stadium is not safe, so they are careful not to leave their tents alone. So actually, one of the fans told Globo, we are here for our idol and our love for him made us do this madness. Fans at Sao Paulo City Bank Hall have also created Mini Tent City and are lining up early for the April 1st show. Now, I think this is going a little overboard. I mean, standing out five months in advance, that's pretty extreme. I almost didn't believe that this was true. Like, I, I felt like this was some sort of joke that they were playing on people. There's yeah. no way that I would stand out in line for anything. The last time I stood in line, it was for football tickets in college for about eight hours. Yeah. And I, that point, I vowed that I would never do that again. But here's the thing, I like that they have a little system of people rotating in and out so people wow. could go about their lives and do the things that they need to do. People have actually done this before for Jordans. You can hire someone to stand in line for you. How much? It's about $150 Wait, a day. Wait, how do you know this? Oh, because I mean- Did I, you stand in line for someone? I did not stand in line for anybody, but I saw it because Jordans are a big thing and they actually pay people to stand in line. Actually, it's a whole business. That's not a bad deal. Yes. 150 bucks to stand. Like, now, I'd camp out for five months if you paid me. Yeah. For sure, I'd start, you, you know, know, my own YouTube channel. <laughs> in the meantime, tweet out. I'd, I'd do all kinds of stuff while yeah. I waited in line. That's so crazy. Believers, you're right. I think they're the, the strongest force in the universe. Mm -hmm. A lot of people at the forum in LA were pretty sad when Kanye West canceled his show because he lost his voice, which totally happens to every singer at some point in their career. So about 45 minutes into the show after singing Only One, Yeezy asked the crew to turn the lights on. He said, quote, my voice is so hoarse, I can't finish the show. I can't let y'all have a show where I can't perform for you. But what's so sad is he was apologizing and the crowd booed him off stage. I'm very sorry, I love you. So 
Kanye promised to everyone in the audience that he would give them a refund. And Kanye is known to be, he is an artist. Like he's not just a performer, he's a perfectionist. He wants everything to go exactly as he's envisioned it. So I would be disappointed. I would be happy that he gave me my money back, but I'd want to have another ticket to another show. I know, and here's the thing. I was talking to somebody. His sets are only an hour and 30 minutes, and she said that it was like a 40, 45 minutes into the show. So don't you think you could have just roughed through it a little bit more? I, I know he's a perfectionist, yeah. but I'm like, <clears throat> even if you stood up there and danced or even lip sync, I think your fans would have loved it. Just 30 more minutes to just yeah. rough through it. So after attending Kendall's 21st birthday the night before, Harry Styles, you guys, he was seen at Kanye's St. Pablo show with his manager and sat next to Usher, MBD. And uh, we hear that Harry spent a lot of time at Kendall's house earlier that day with her. He brought her a birthday gift, which everybody's been talking about their dating rumors recently, if they're back together. I mean, this. Your 21st birthday is a huge milestone in your life. And whoever yes. you spend your birthday week, your birthday month with on your 21st birthday, those are people you really care about, typically, yes. right? Yes. So do you think that maybe things are back together with Henry and Kendall? I don't really see them Harry. in a relationship. I think they're just really good friends. You Honestly, think so? I don't think they're in a relationship. Do you think, but they were, they were. They've been seen like canoodling together. They dated several times. Do you think though that after all they've been through romantically that they could come out on the other side as friends? But they never confirmed that they were in a relationship. I don't think that this is like a relationship. You think it was a PR stunt? Maybe? Yeah, absolutely. I think they're just really good friends. But another person that we're kind of battling out, people have rumors about Drake and Taylor maybe. Oh my god. Being together, which I think is absolutely crazy. But but there's more pictures and they're adding fuel to the fire. So he posted this pic on Instagram of the two of them at his 30th birthday party in LA and their backs are to the camera but they seem to be looking at a piece of paper. Maybe it's about music, I don't know. But he captioned it, is that velvet alluding to his jacket. Taylor liked the photo on Insta and by the way, we like her gold flashed back tattoo. Looks so cool. Super cute, right? E! News confirmed that the two are making music together so everybody pump the brakes. And I totally called this on Clever Now when yeah. everyone was like, oh, maybe they're dating. I was like, no, they're making music together. Yeah. So if E! News confirmed but, it, but, then... But don't pump the brakes. Why? I would like to see them date, I think. No, I kinda Aaron. do. Honestly, I just would like to see Come on. the firestorm that would mm -mm. surround this relationship. I know it wouldn't be forever. I feel like these two are better off as friends, but secretly inside, no. I don't see it. I like trailer. No, don't even say those trailer. two things together. Trailer, 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 <laughs> no, trailer, no, no. trailer, trailer. Let's move on to other things. Taylor also posted her own party pics from the Epic CMA Awards after the party in Nashville. And one pic you see Taylor looking a little tipsy in a group photo. She tagged it saying that post-show apartment hang. In another pic she's LOLing like crazy with Kelsey Ballerini. I'm glad Taylor Swift is back on social media. I love just looking at all of her houses and all of her trips. I know that time that she was with Tom Hiddleston, she wasn't even on Instagram and it made me so sad. So, you know, keep posting these. Tom Hiddleston, that's someone I can see her with. Not to bring it back up or anything. Yeah, no, trailer. No. I'm still trailering right now. Sorry. <laughs> all right, speaking of Kendall's birthday, Chloe decided to show up on Jimmy Kimmel last night. She was gorgeous as usual. She was candid as usual. And she kind of revealed a little bit about Kendall's tipsy birthday. Mm. Chloe described walking outside the club Delilah where Kendall and her family partied to see a strange hot guy handing Kendall keys to a Rolls Royce. Is he some prince? And I was like, is this a joke? On my 21st birthday, I think I got like a dinner and a purse or something. <laughs> I didn't know like you just get cars from strangers. Wait, a so man I really gave her a, a Rolls gave Royce? Gave her a car, yeah. Well, what? I know. So, and this morning I was like, Holy crap, I was like, do you remember you got like, that's so cool, you got this car, how'd you get it home? She's like, oh my God, I forgot I got a car last night. That's how drunk she was. I hate it when that happens, you know? I know. When a stranger gives me a key to a Rolls Royce and I'm too drunk to even remember to take it home. Right? I hate it when that happens. What the heck? I mean, <laughs> those, those women must have more cars than they can count. I know, that's seriously. crazy. And who wants to drive cars when you're the Kardashian? Do you get someone to drive yourself? Yeah, especially when you're drunk. If I could Uber my life away, I would just Uber every single day of my life. I that's, would be on that one. That's when I know I've made it. <laughs> when I can Uber every single day. Not Uber pool. 
Not Uber Bull. Yeah, no, no. But Uber X every mm. single day. Uh, also, Chloe revealed that Kendall and she, they had an after party at Chloe's house. I mean, what would I give I know. to be a Kardashian just for one Not day? Not even that, just be invited to one of their parties. Right? You know? Just to see them. Well, I kind of feel like we are invited since we just stalk them on Instagram and Snapchat. True. That's what I'm gonna keep telling myself. <laughs> I'm a part of it, I swear. Would you camp out for Justin Bieber? Or who would you camp out for five months for? Mm -hmm. I mean, you could totally say me and Jackie, because there's a lot of you out there who would do that for us. Mm -hmm. uh, but let us know yeah. in the comments. I would camp out for Bruno Mars. Did you guys hear his new song today, Versace? So good. I haven't heard it yet. Oh, Aaron. Well, we're gonna leave you we, guys with that after this, so you yeah. can hear it before we leave. Yeah, you gotta listen to that. And um, guys, what are you doing this weekend? Yeah. You know? Let's hang out on the social meets, because we have no lives. <laughs> Follow us. That sounds appetizing, right? Follow us, we have no lives. Yes. Let's chat on the social meets, guys. Bye. Have a good weekend. Click left to find out if Taylor is going country again, y'all. Or to the right for deets on the possible Beyonce Adele collaboration is coming your way soon.